one win away and you did it in style. You scored at 100% tonight. Uh, you can't ask for much more than that. No, I thought we played well. I thought we controlled the game. Um, you know, getting off to a quick start with the deuce there was nice. And I uh, got a couple mistakes out of John's team as well. Was that kind of a, a game plan too, going against a team who's kind of in this uh, spotlight for the first time at this level? No, uh, we just kind of stuck to what we've been doing all week, and that's really just control and hammer, trying to get a deuce when we get a chance, not taking too many chances, and then once we get it, start banging away. And, and Brett and Mark have been throwing the peel so well, and I have as uh, you know, so we really got five or six chances to make a double, and we feel pretty good that we'll we'll at least get one in there in five or six. So familiar territory. You've been down this road before in gold medal games. You won it last year. Uh, how do you approach tomorrow night? Uh, exactly the same as we did tonight. Um, you know, it, it just go out there, have some fun. Um, you know, as far as tomorrow, we'll go to the hot tub, we'll have a nap, we'll eat a couple times, and and go and play. I I, I can't emphasize enough how much, how different this feels from last year, and, and how free we are playing, and and it's fun. And no matter what happens tomorrow night, we had a great week this week, so um, kind of free will in it right now. Does anything change for you depending on who the opponent is? No, not really. Both are are completely capable teams. I, both are going to be rookies in the situation, which really means nothing but you know it's something to talk about um you know so i yeah i'm not not too concerned who we play with i'm not cheering for one team over the other uh you know both are going to be uh, tough games for us and, and we're going to have to play like we did tonight to to give ourselves the best chance of winning what kind of why do you feel freer this year well last year we put so much pressure on ourselves uh, you know haven't been to the briar so many times and losing finals and semi-finals and you guys always kept saying, you know, when you're going to win one, and um, and then at home, obviously, the pressure that we felt. So we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, and, and there was certainly external pressure, and, and uh, you know, it, it was it was hard. Uh, it was hard each and every night to get to sleep knowing that, uh, you know, if you don't win this, everybody's going to be talking about it. So uh, to get that monkey off our back last year freed us up this year, and, and really nobody can say that now. So even if uh, even if we don't win, we've we've got our, our briar, and and. Um, you know, that doesn't mean we're not going to be trying to win tomorrow night. What What's kind of advantage? message is sent winning a game like that in the fashion that you did the way that you played? I, I you know, I'd love it, love to say that it was a huge message to all the teams, but it really isn't. Uh, you know, every curling game is uh, so unique and so different that, you know, tomorrow can be completely different. And those guys, we could curl very similar and they could come out and curl 95% and it could be a completely different game. So. Uh, I don't know if you could take too much into that. I, I think from our standpoint, I think the message to, to our team is that, you know, we perform really well under in a big game situation, which is the more times you do that, the more confidence you have when you get in those big game situations. Uh, Jules, uh, you've seen a lot of big game performances out there uh, in, in under the spotlights with lots at stake. Um, that one must have impressed you tonight. It is. Like the boys are throwing so good and the game was a little simpler. But we made everything, and you know, and if we didn't make it, we got a little break here and there. Yeah, they're very confident. We like the rocks. We got the rocks we wanted, and man, they're just they're feeling it. Yeah, and what are kind of the cues you look for out there when you know that things are going right? I mean, is there body language things, the way they talk, the way they interact? What do you see? Well, like the body language, but I always look at, at the deliveries, etc. You know, like if we start missing a little, a little tight slide, popping the rock a little, you know, and you, and you worry about that, but. Like Brad, you can just you can just tell him warm up, like button, 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 so you know he's on. Right, and, and that kind of makes your job more uh, a little <laughs> a little easy. I just make sure I just I just happy we give Brad the rocks and he draw a button, button, and ho ho, because you know what it is. You give the skip the right rocks, the rest of the team doesn't care what they have, as long as they're the skipper. Right. And when he draws button, button, then we know we're in business. Knowing that they got the monkey off their back last year, does that make them a little looser going into tomorrow night? I think they're way more relaxed. Like, like you could see the tension last year, and you know, like he hadn't won one. You're in your hometown, and he wanted to win so desperately, and the heat was on, and everybody was playing good. Like I can just tell here, they're relaxed now. They're focused, but they're very relaxed. Right. So I expect. You never know. You know how curling goes, but I expect them to have a real good game tomorrow. Does it matter who they play? I mean, did they change their game plan, or is no. it just a matter of them going out and executing? You know, we, we were playing for the hammer, and we wanted the rocks, and we got the rocks at hammer, and it doesn't matter. Like, you know, like everybody, we expected to play Jacobs. Because, you know, like Jacobs is Jacobs, and we just expected him to be there and going to have to beat him again. But the approach is the same because we've seen Epping shoot the lights out and single handedly beat big teams. He'd beat us. So you got to be ready, and you can see Botcher like beat beat uh, Jacobs twice. So you can't take him lightly. 
pretty tough night, obviously. Brad's team uh, was making everything, and you said just a little bit of a slow start that uh, got in the way tonight. Yeah, definitely. We weren't uh, very sharp tonight, uh, you know, and that giving them an early deuce is something that we talked about before that we knew would, would hurt because they're such a good front-running team. And uh, you know we had a, we had a chance in uh, in four to get a you know probably a deuce back to tie the game and, and I and if I make that blank and, and we're only down two instead of down three nothing and from there then you got to take some chances and uh, yeah we just didn't uh, we just didn't get any offense going we couldn't make a couple of shots in a row to you know try and get a deuce back uh, they you know our, our game is more offensive and we like to score a lot of points and, and all week we've scored a ton and, and tonight we just got uh, we got held off the scoreboard. And this is where the glory of the 1-2 game comes into practice. You've got a second life, so that now the key is to take advantage of it. Exactly. And, you know, tonight was great for... Uh Tonight was great for our team. We've, uh, you know, that was a, that was a first for us, first Briar, first one-two game at the Briar, and you know, just front of crowd tonight and, and under the lights like that. That's just uh, it was a great experience, and we got to use that tomorrow to make sure we come out and play well. And you know, I think we'll have a good day tomorrow. And you saw what that Alberta team did this afternoon. I'm sure. What uh, what's it going to take to beat them? You know, we just well, we got to be sharp. We got to make lots of shots tomorrow. Uh, Brendan's uh, he's feeling himself. I can uh, you can just tell he's he's really uh, playing well right now. And. And we're just going to have to make more shots than we did today and, and adjust better and, and be sharp.